Three more chairs. Fill them up. Ooh, there's a Danbury cheerleader. All right, cool. They know, need all the help they can get. Good morning. This morning, I would like to start with prayer instead of finishing with prayer. So if you would bow your heads with me. Dear Lord, every day we have the opportunity to make choices in our lives. Help us to make good ones. Amen. Making good choices. I'm going to read you some choices. I want you to tell me which one you think is better of the choices, okay? Making a friend or an enemy? Friend, good. Crying or laughing? Good job. Now this one might be a little tough. Making a mess or cleaning it up? Good answer. Holding the door open for someone or slamming it in someone's face? A kind word or teasing? Helping or being helped? Ah, that's the one. Helping or being helped? Sometimes we need help, don't we? And sometimes we can help. In the church, there are lots of ways for us to help and to be helped. We're helped just by being here in the mornings. And when we help in the church, it's called volunteering. There are lots of ways to volunteer in the church. I volunteer in one way. Can you tell by what I have on? Singing in the choir, right. Les does something in the church every week for us. What does he do? Light the candles. He brings the light of God into the church and takes it back out again. The ushers help us find seats when the church is full. They take up the offering, which is very important. Did anyone have an apple dumpling last week? None of you ate an apple dumpling? <laughs> they were out! Well, that's, that's a good thing, but I'm sorry you didn't get one because lots and lots of volunteers helped to make those apple dumplings. So there are lots of things we can do around the church. Now, I realize you're a little young to um, do some of those things, but, you know, I think the most important thing that you can do when you come to church is to just be here because you don't know how happy it makes all of us to see you when you're here on, on Sunday mornings. And when you go to church school, if someone comes for the very first time, if you can just say, hi, my name is Barb, and I'm glad you're here. So I think you're getting the idea of how, you know, we need to volunteer and we need to help out and make good choices. And there are many ways that God gives us to make good choices also. When we do make these good choices, we can celebrate the wonderful people that we are. Now, in closing today, <clears throat> in my bag, I went to Sandusky and I was going to buy, I don't know if you know what these are. <clears throat> they have them around the holidays. They're called poppers. Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay. They're little things that you pull the string and they fly all over. They don't have any out yet. <laughs> and then I thought I would buy um, some confetti that we could throw in the air to celebrate ourselves. That would make a mess. And then I'd have to clean it up. So... After I did all those things, I thought, I was with my grandson last weekend, and he's three, and he loves to pretend. So we're going to pretend today. So I have my bag here, and inside this bag, I have absolutely nothing. <laughs> but I want each one of you to stand up and come up here and get inside my bag and get an imaginary handful of confetti. You got yours? Okay, imaginary. Okay, and stand, just stand right up here. Stand up here. 
Stand up here. Everybody stand up. Everybody reaching. Got it? Got it? Got it? Everybody's got theirs? Anybody haven't got? No, not me. Everybody has to get it. All right. Les, you want some confetti? Okay. All right. All right. And on the count of three, we're, on, or we're all going to, I've got to get mine. Excuse me. We're all going to throw our confetti in the air and say, celebrate me. Ready? One, two, three. Celebrate me! Okay, you may all go to church school.
New Testament reading this morning is from Acts 2, verses 42 to 47. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe, and many wonders and miraculous signs were done by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. Selling their possessions and goods, they gave to anyone as he had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. Blessed is the word of the Lord. And I want to thank this congregation for your support of me as lay leader. Uh, It does humble me, and I hope and pray that I represent you well. Will you pray with me, please? Most gracious creator of the universe, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. Amen. About a month ago, the SPRC committee of this church met with the district superintendent, Judy Claycomb, as we do every year. And we told her about this congregation and how energized and enthusiastic we are about our mission and our ministry. We were scheduled for 30 minutes as there were other congregations to meet with the DS to do the same thing. And unfortunately, for the other congregations, we took about an hour because we were so proud of what goes on in this congregation, this church. We were so proud of you. We wanted to celebrate you. You have done so much towards the mission of this congregation. You show what has come to be known as radical hospitality. The Apostle Paul wrote in his letter to the early Christians of Rome, chapter 15, verse 7, to, he said to welcome one another, therefore, just as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. You show that by standing out there on that sidewalk every Sunday morning and inviting people to come in as they walk by. The Nurture Committee hands out welcome kits to visitors, and I hope our visitors today got those welcome kits. They are welcome kits. United Methodist Women reaches out to potential new members and often picks them up for Sunday service or meetings. United Methodist Men has many members of other faith traditions who often come and give the invocation or grace at regular meetings. And Pastor Jerry calls on new members, new residents of Otterby North Shore, as well as Lakeside. 